Good morning students. This video session is for class 2nd student. Subject Mathematics. Chapter number 1 to chapter number 3. Today this is the combined lecture 1. Today we will do worksheet of chapters 1 to 3. Chapter 1. Numbers and Numeration. Chapter 2. Addition. And chapter 3, subtraction. So today we will do worksheet of these chapters. Okay. Our first question is multiple choice question. From question number 1 to question number 5. What is multiple choice questions, Pita? In these type of questions, we have given 4-4 four, four options of each question. And we have to find out the correct option from them. So let's start. Question number one. The number 700 THIRTY30 SIX 36 is written as. Yahan par bita hume number likna hai 736. And we are options in A 763, B 736. C 753 and in D 735. Now we have to find out which is the correct option from them. So what is our number that is 700? It means at 100's place there should be 7. Okay. And 36. 36 means at 1's and 10's place it should be 3636. Okay. So in option B, it is given 736. So, option B is correct option for this question. Now, question number 2. The expanded form of the number 498 is. But expanded form kya hoti hai? Expanded form means bada karke likna. Jaise jaise hum iska number name bolte hai, vaise vaise hi hum isko likte hai. Okay, so first of all, we will see what are the options. Here in A part, 400 plus 90 plus 8. In B part, 400 plus 98. In C part, 400 plus 8. And in D, none of these. None of these ka matlab hai ki ye teen options joh humein di hui hai. Ye teen hoi options wrong hai. None of these ka ye matlab hai. Okay, now Vida, our number is 498. So, humein iski... जो नंबर नेम हमने बोला है उसे अलग-अलग लिखना है सो फर्स्ट इज 400 देन 90 देन 8 सो वी हैव रिटन हियर इन ए पार्ट 400 प्लस 90 प्लस 8 सो दिस इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके सो ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट 400 प्लस 90 प्लस 8 दिस इज द एक्सपेंडेड फॉर्म ऑफ 498. Now, Vita, in question number 3, we have to find out the place value of digit 5 in 516. And our options are A, 5, B, 5050, C, 500500, and G, none of these. Okay. Yes, Vita, so to find out the place value of a digit, how we can find out the place value by multiplying the num digit by its place. So, first of all, we will see what is the place of 5 in 516. So, let's we will start from our right hand side. This is 1's place, 10's place and 100's place. It means 5 is at 100's place. Okay. So, we need to multiply 5 by 100. So, when we multiply 5 by 100, our answer should be 500. It means option C is the correct option 500. So, place value of digit 5 is 500 in 560. Okay. Now, question number 4. The sum of, sum means beta, total. The total of your yeah, sum of 256 and 
476 is dash. Okay, we have to add both these numbers and we have to find out its answer. And here options are in A 532, B 632, C 832, D 732. So first of all, beta, we have to solve this sum. Okay, so first of all, here we will write places because three digits are there. So we will write three places, ones, tens and hundreds. Then we will write 256 and after that 476. Now we have to add it. Okay, so always start from our ones place. So let's start from our ones place here at ones place. Digits are 6 and 6. So keep 6 in your mind and 6 on your fingers. Let's start counting. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 is 2 digit, answer, two digit number answer. So what we will do? We will write 2 here at 1's place and 1 will be carry over at 10's place. Understood? Now, here at tens place, keep a 5 in your mind and 7 on your fingers. Now, we have to start counting after 5. Okay, let's start. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, keep 12 in your mind and 1 on your finger. So, after 12, which number comes? That is 13. So, we will write a 3 here. And 1 will be again carry. Okay. At hundreds place column. Now keep 2 in your mind and 4 on your fingers. Let's start counting. 3, 4, 5, 6. Now keep 6 in your mind and 1 on your finger. So after 6 which number comes? That is 7. So our answer is 732. And in which option it is written? In option number D. It means option D is the correct answer for it. 732. Understood, Vida? When these type of questions are there, you need to solve it at the side. And after that, you have to find out the correct option. Now, in question number 5, the difference between 762 and 208 is. अब यहाँ पर हमें क्या निकालना है बेटा? Difference से निकालना है। तो difference means difference कब निकलता है जब हम दो numbers को minus करते हैं। So our options are A 554, B 564, C 544 and D 534. So first of all we need to solve it. So let's start. First of all we will write places ones, tens and hundreds. Then which number is greater? That is 762. So, first of all, we will write 762. After that, 208. Now, we have to subtract it. So, let's start from our ones place. Here, you can see digits are 2 and 8. And 2 is smaller than 8. So, we cannot subtract 8 from 2. So, what we will do? Here, we will take buru. So, this number becomes 2 plus 10. That is 12. Okay. And here at tens place, this number will become 6 minus 1, 5. Okay. Jo boro leta hai, wo apne aap mein 10 add karta hai. Aur jo boro de raha hai, wo apne mein se 1 minus karta hai. Understood? Because it has given 1 10 to 1's place. And 1 10 means 10 ones. Understood? So now, keep 12 in your mind and 8 on your fingers. Now, beta. In subtraction sums, we have to speak backward counting. So, let's start backward counting before 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So, we will write 4 here at 1's place. Now, at 10's place, 5 minus 0. That is the number itself. That is 5. And now 7 minus 2. So keep 7 in your mind and 2 on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 
five. So we will write five here. So our answer is five hundred fifty-four. And in which option this answer is? It is in option number A. So our option number A is correct. Five hundred fifty-four. Understood? Now, beta, match the following of page number fifty-five. It is given to us. So let's see. In A part, it is given three hundred. Plus twenty plus seven, then four hundred plus thirty plus five. These are the expanded forms. Now in C part, nine hundred ninety-nine minus three hundred ninety-eight. This is the sum of subtraction. Then two hundred thirty-six plus five hundred eighty-four. That is also the sum. So now here it is given the numerals for it: four hundred thirty-five, six hundred one, eight hundred twenty, and three hundred twenty-seven. So it means first we have to solve the These parts and then we have to match it with the numeral. जो answer आएगा उसे हमें numeral से match करना है and after that these are the number names: eight hundred twenty, three hundred twenty-seven, four hundred thirty-five and six hundred one. After that we have to match it with the number name. So let's start from part A. In A part, three hundred plus twenty plus seven. So this is the expanded form and we have to write its short form. So to find out the short form, what we will do, we have to write seven at one's place. Here, twenty means at two tens, two at tens place, and three hundred means three at hundreds place. Okay, so three hundred twenty-seven. Okay, so it is here written three hundred twenty-seven. So we will match it with this line. Understood? Now we have to find out its number name. 327. This is written here, so we will match it with this line. Okay. Now 400 plus 30 plus 5 means 5 at ones place. Here 3 at tens place and 4 at hundreds place. So 435. So we will match it with this line 435. Now we have to find out its number name. 435. So we will match it with this line. Now. Nine hundred ninety-nine minus three hundred ninety-eight. This is a sum, beta. So first of all, we have to solve it. Nine hundred ninety-nine minus three hundred ninety-eight. So let's start. Now keep nine in your mind and eight on your fingers. Now we have to speak backward counting. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So we will write one here. Now nine minus nine, that is equal to zero because we are subtracting the same number. Now nine minus three, keep nine in your mind and three on your fingers. Let's start backward counting. Eight, seven, six. So we will write six here. So our answer is six hundred one. And where it is written? It is written here six hundred one. So we will match it with this line. Now we have to find out its number name. And uh, here is the number name six hundred one. So we will match it with this line. Okay. Now in D part, it is given two hundred thirty six plus five hundred eighty four. So first of all, we will write here at the side two hundred thirty six and five hundred eighty four. So let's start from our ones place and. Once place digit कहाँ पर होती है बेटा हमारे right hand side पे so let's start here six and four is given so keep six in your mind and four on your fingers now we have to speak counting seven eight nine ten so ten is two digit number so we will write zero here and one will be carry over now here at tens place you can see three Plus eight. So keep three in your mind and eight on your fingers. So let's start counting: four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now keep eleven in your mind and one on your fingers. So after eleven, which number comes? That is twelve. Again, twelve is two-digit number. So we will write two here and one will be carry over. Now here. Two plus five. Keep two in your mind and five on your fingers. Let's start counting: three, four, 
5, 6, 7. So now keep 7 in your mind and 1 on your finger. So 7 plus 1 is 8. So we will write 8 here. So our answer is 820. And it is written here 820. So we will match it with this line. Now we have to match it with its number name and that is written here 820. So again we will match it with this line. Understood? So first of all we need to solve it and after that we have to match it with the right answer. Okay? Yes, but I next write the numbers shown on the abacus. So here beta we have given abacus and we have to find the numbers which is shown on this abacus. So this is abacus. Okay, these are the spikes. Okay, and these are the beads. So first of all, we will write places here on this. So from our right hand side, this is our ones place. Then this is our tens place and this is our hundreds place. So now we have to count the beads which is at ones place. So one, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, how many beads are there at 1's place? That is 9. So, we will write 9 here. Okay. And at 10's place, because there is no bead, so we will write here 0. And here at 100's place, it has only 1 bead. So, we will write 1 here. So, what is the number name of it? That is 109. Understood? Now, in B part, it is given again an abacus and there are beads in the spikes so let's first of all write down the places ones tens and hundred now we will find out how many beads are there at ones place so here one two three four five six seven eight eight beads are there so we will write eight here okay beta and at tens place there are only two beads. So, we will write two here. And at hundreds place, again two beads are there. So, we will write two. So, what is the number? That is 228. Okay. Now, in C part, this is again an abacus. Okay. First of all, we will write places ones, tens and hundreds. Okay. Now, we have to count how many beads are there at ones place. One, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, there are 9 beads at 1's place. Now, at 10's place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The 6 are at 10's place. And at 100's place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 beads are at 100's place. So, what is the number? That is 560. 9. Okay, now in D part, first of all, we will write places 1s, 10s and 100s. At 1s place, you can see there is no bead. So, we will write here 0. At 10s place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 beads. So, we will write 8 here. And at 100s place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we will write 7. So, what is the number? That is 780. Understood? Now, beta, next topic is place value and face value. So, I will tell you what is the place value. So, place value of a digit depends on its position in the number. Place value kya hoti hai, beta? Kisi bhi digit ki, jab hume place value find out karni hai, so, we have to multiply the position. Position means the place of that digit. If it is at 1's place, then we will multiply that digit by 1. Okay. And if it is at 10's place, then we will multiply it by 10. Okay. And if it is at 100's place, then we will multiply that digit by 100 to find out its place value. Understood, Bada? Now, face value. What is face value? Face value of a digit does not depend on its position in the number. Agar face value hume find out karni hai, to wo wahi number hoga, wo change nahi hogi uski position ke according. Chai wo 1's place pe ho, 10's place pe ho, ya 100's place pe, face value 
remains the same everywhere understood now you have to note that beta fa the face value and the place value of 0 is always 0 because when we multiply 0 by a number then it becomes 0 okay now we have to write place value and face value of underlined digit underlined digit is the digit which is Underline means जिसके नीचे line लगी हो और encircled मतलब होता है जिसके ऊपर गोला लगा हो okay so here we will learn about place value and face value of underlined digit so here in question number a 153 is given to us okay so here you can see places are written ones tens and hundreds and here which is underlined digit that is five so what we will do we will have to find out the place value of 5 so we will multiply 5 by its place that is tens so we will multiply 5 by 10 to find out its place value so 5 tens are 50 okay and to find out face value the number remains the same that is 5 okay now in b part 687 so here Underlined digit is 6 and the place of 6 is 100. So, what we will do to find out place value? We will multiply 6 by its place 100. That is 600. Okay. And face value is the number itself. That is 6. Now, in next 549, here you can see 9 is the underlined digit and 9 is at 1's place. So, we will multiply 9 by 1 to find out its place value that is equal to 9 and for face value that is 9 understood now today's homework do given sums in notebook question number 1 add 450 328 and 136 second question is add 678 and 249 Question number 3, subtract 357 from 650. And in question number 4, subtract 148 from 300. So, Vida, first of all, you have to make format. Okay. Beautifully, you have to do your work. You have to write one digit in one column. Okay. And leave one line for carry or borrow. There are two sums of addition and two sums of subtraction. Okay, so you have to do it very carefully. Okay, 